Alright, hello everyone, we're back. This is gonna be the last 30 minutes of today's stream. So let's go find running way. So she's running, so running away. Okay, we're gonna do this again. Running away likes to chatter. To be a joke, it isn't funny. <laughs> what is wrong with you, you weirdo? Fucking weird little goblin. Hmm? Yes, I'm running away. Do you mind explaining why you hit me in the face with your balls of oh, moose flesh? I'm highly knowledgeable about the final days? <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing I've heard since I woke up. Who told you that joke? As if we've got time to look at, into the final days when there's so much to do before the Great Voyage. It's true that Heidelin did impart to us some knowledge of the event, but it, I know about as much as any other law firm around here. Less, probably. I don't know why anyone would think it's funny to go around telling people I'm an expert, but they better hope I don't get my paws on them. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, but if there's nothing else, I have work to do. I've completed all of FF14 up to Dawn Show, unless time it took the Nick to level once. <laughs> and I'm off. You're such a weirdo, man. Saying, do you, do you ever get upset when people keep showing up at your door thinking that you're an expert on the final days? I can't can find neither hide nor hair of him. How did you fare? <clears throat> so he knows no more than the others. Care to explain yourself, growing way? Well, well you see, I, uh... <clears throat> I misremembered. Yes, that's it. I misremembered. Terribly sorry about that. Hmm, afraid I'm drawing a blank, though. As I meant, I can't remember who I was thinking of. On an unrelated note, what a very Anjay. I assumed you spoke with him earlier. But did he say anything uh, when he'll return be returning? On his way to the Watcher's Palace with Living Way. Between Growing Way's sudden lapse of memory and our lack of other leads, maybe our time would be better spent leading or lending Oriange a hand. But what? No! Now hold on a moment! It's all coming back to me. Yes, I remember. The information you're looking for is in the archives. Yes, that's where you'll find all sorts of useful knowledge, including that pertaining to the final days. Same. Which of the uh, Lopwurts are you most attracted to? Man, I do not like this gear so. Heart of the matter. Oh, what to do, what to do? I promised Living Way I would help, but... Australian breakdancing way. No, I promised I'd help, so that's what I'll do. The archives on the second floor of the main plaza, the eastern wing. Follow me. I suspect the Lockwoods are up to something, but if there's ought to be learned of the final day, I think it's best to play along. For now, at least.
I say, do you wish you could break dance? I bet in high school you were probably a super good break dancer, weren't you? Influencer way, who's always trying to record everything. It's also one over here. It's probably way closer. At least I think this is a teleporter. This is not a teleporter. Knocking way. This is also not where we want to be. Alright. I'll end up just wasting more time. Alright, well, let's just go through this teleporter then. Okay, apparently we can't use the teleporter. Good to know. They turned off the teleporters on purpose. On poipus. Eighty-five yams to the south. I do need to go and get all the ether currents in these areas, though, because eventually I will be doing Dawn Trail for you guys, just not right away. I also will be doing the post patch stuff as well. I figure I'll wait until we uh, get to the end of Dawn Trail, so like two years from now. The archives are right through this door, but it seems to be locked. I guess we'll just go and find whoever has the key. Growing way, enough. If you have not else to tell us of the final days, you need only say so. We can ill afford to be wasting time here, as you well know. Did you yourself not tell us we must act quickly? Yes, yes we did, but... The moon was to be a perfect paradise for the people of Atheris, and we're running out of time to make everything ready for their arrival. We hoped you'd see the wonders we have to offer, but you've all found nothing but faults and flaws in our work. Only one of you saw our potential, so you others must be kept here. Ah, so that's the Living Ways game. Run us about in circles, and failing that, lock us away so that we can, but, plan at risk. Everyone except Ariange. He understands what is at stake, what must be done. I fear you misjudged us, Growing Way. Never have we decried the notion of using the moon as a means of escape. That said, my heart breaks at the thought of abandoning Atheris, and her reflections to their doom. If there is a way to avert the final days, I wish to find it. We all do. We may fail, but our efforts would never be at the expense of your plans. But why would you take that risk? There's no room for ifs and maybes now. The people of Atheris will escape here to the moon. They'll be safe, and we'll finally be able to see their happy, smiling faces. I'm sorry, but we can't let you leave. We just can't. Do what you must, but try not to hurt them. I'll be back in a moment. Don't do anything rash while I'm gone. If we dally, they'll overwhelm us in sheer numbers. I say we knock these ones out, split up, and make our way to the exit. Agreed. Let us reconvene where Argos waits outside.
please come quietly. What I'm curious about is why they thought they'd send a chance against Hyla and Chosen. We have to save them. Alright, off we go. We best Zodiac and they're like, no, we can take her. I can only imagine how Ishtola burnt her way out of here. We did it, team. Good, you're here. We must hurry to the Watcher's Palace and find Ariage. And uh, what, pray tell, do we seek at the Watcher's Palace? Turn to Etheris and help your brethren prepare for their journey here and beyond. Forgive me, Living Way, but I cannot in good conscience proceed with this plan. Huh? But what about the final days? The death and the doom? Oh, we have to hurry before it's too late! Your unflagging commitment to your duty is endearing, to say the least. Oh, bugger! Be at ease. They bear you no grudge, nor do I. How could we? Having come to understand your purpose. For millennia, you and yours worked tirelessly towards the singular purpose of this heavenly vessel's construction. An arduous feat by any measure. It is clear you have spared no effort. Why, your very names are a testament to your dedication. Not sure I understand what you're getting at. Names are an expression of the self, a declaration of one's hopes and aspirations. Your use of contemporary, uncomplicated nomenclature doth ensure clarity of purpose. There can be no doubt that your love for the people of Atheris is boundless and pure. Yes! Yes! A most mellifluous phrasing! We Loperids were born of Hydaelyn's love for Atheris! That shining, shimmering blue jewel! Brightest star in the sky, brimming with life and possibilities. For as long as I can remember, I've toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. All I've ever wanted was to meet those she cherished so dearly, to serve and serve well. That goes for all of us. Don't you see? So help us. Help us help them. Lead them here where we can keep them safe. 
If there's anything wrong with what we've built, we'll fix it. We'll make it right. Your works want not for repair. Yet there remaineth much for you to learn of men and your own kin besides. Singing way, thy name bespeaketh more than the simple marriage of rhythm and rhyme. The songs of Etheris are beyond counting and span the length and breadth of emotion. Maps are monuments to man's pioneering spirit and his devotion to charting the furthest reaches of our star. Many have devoted their lifetimes to exploratory pursuits, to venture unto the highest mountains and the deepest oceans in search of unknown frontiers. And thou, my friend, I... Oh, I do not think we've met. My... My name is Puddingway. Pudding way? Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm sure. But one perhaps better communicated through delicious deeds than tasteless words. A judicious application of fey magics at a later juncture may be appropriate. <clears throat> and living way. Tis no easy feat to convey the significance of thy moniker. Hmm. When I was a bookish boy, a dear friend of mine was fond of peppering me with questions as I read, to my occasional annoyance. One day, I posed to her a question of mine own. What doth it mean to live? After much contemplation, she proffered this answer. The anticipation of a half-read story's conclusion. The hope today's mistake may serve as tomorrow's lesson. The wish that a new acquaintance may one day call thee friend. She believed it to be all these moments and more. to understand, but... I, too, still labor to find mine own answer. T'would be my pleasure to assist you and yours in embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For thee. Ink as blue as the waters of Etheris. Made in haste, though I assure thee, the quality has not suffered for it. The people need not be persuaded by honeyed words. Nay, I have faith they shall do what is right in due course. Until they do, I beg your patience, friends. And with that ink, let us fill the empty pages of Living Ways Compendium. An open exchange of ideas will surely afford you all a better understanding of modern man, and with it, ideas for improvements and renovations. But more importantly, it shall empower us to together find a way forward. I hope you're right. Thank you for this lovely gift. There you have it. I shall remain with the Loperets to ensure that all is in order. Though we must needs prepare for every eventuality, you would all agree that the evacuation of our star is a last resort. To accept failure is to accept the demise not only of our star, but that of Reen's, of all reflections and the souls that call them home. 
which is why I have every faith that you shall fight to the last, that such drastic measures may prove unnecessary. Should the worst come to the worst, and I pray deeply that it won't, I'll take comfort in knowing preparations were made under your watchful eye. Aye, thou mayest be assured that if calamity cometh, not a soul will be left behind, if being the operative term. That flower, how came it into your possession? How very like her. Guided by its light, you may come to know her true intentions, intentions which remain a mystery even to us. In our time, we called it Elpis. You would do well to remember that name. been the most gracious of guests. Do convey our apologies to Growing Way and the others. But of course! And when next we welcome more guests from Atheris, we'll have learned to be much more hospitable hosts. Oh, and circling back to the matter of inappropriate secrecy, we ought to discuss our benefactors. Agreed. The Charlayan Forum, yes? The more I heard, the more obvious it became. The forum's aims align closely with those of your anonymous patrons. A telling coincidence would be an understatement. Though had we not taken it upon ourselves to peruse certain restricted tones in Labyrinthos, we might still be unaware of their plans. But let us continue this discussion upon our return. I dare say we have kept Alphino and the others waiting long enough. and gents this is a good end point for today's stream um yeah we will turn this in and move on to the rest of it uh, uh more of it tomorrow that said we got quite a bit done uh, in terms of uh lore today uh we got to the moon as you can see that's where we spent the majority of today but we fought and defeated zodiar whom Everyone thought was going to be the final boss of the expansion, only to find that you're only about 27% through the MSQ, uh, for End Endwalker, when you defeat Zodiac, which is insane. We met with the Lopperets, who are a nice little FF4 reference. We got some FF4 music. We found out that they have been here for... since the new moon was created preparing to evacuate Atheris in the eventuality that Zodiac was destroyed. The final days is set to arrive on Atheris, uh, and uh, we should be dealing with that somewhat soon, I would imagine. Also interesting, if I zoom out, the robes disappear from uh, Ishtola and the Watcher's clothing. Ishtola's naked. Fascinating. Anyway. <laughs> so tomorrow, we're probably going to head back to uh, Atheris, now that we know the name of the planet. 
um, we are going to figure out what we can do from there. So thank you for viewing, everyone.